When designing mechanical parts, it's often necessary to capture symmetry as part of your design intent. Parts can be completely symmetric or have just a few symmetric elements. In both cases, there are techniques available that will help you capture symmetry effectively. Let's take a look. The most obvious cases of symmetry are when a part is perfectly symmetric, either in two or four parts. In these cases, you can save a good deal of time by designing only half of the part, then using the mirror feature to produce the rest of the part. Here's an example. You can see in this case half of the part is already designed. I can use the mirror tool and use the mirror a solid option to copy the entire body. I can use this face for the mirror plane. I'll click OK and there you have the completed part. If the part was symmetric in four parts, I would simply repeat the mirror tool to produce the rest of the part. The reason this is an effective way to model a symmetric part is because if changes are required, you only have to make the changes to the original portion of your design, and the mirrored portions will automatically update to reflect the change. Now there is one thing to be careful of. Suppose I need to add a cutout here, and it is to be replicated on the other side as well. Now because Inventor is a history-based modeler, the cutout won't occur on the other side because it happened after the mirror. So, if I want to take advantage of the symmetry I've designed, it would have been nice to have the cutout in place before I used the mirror tool. That way, the mirror feature would also have taken care of the cutout on the other side. Fortunately, Inventor provides an easy way for me to correct my mistake. By using the end of part option, I can travel back to before the mirror feature existed to insert the cutout. To do this, I'll simply click and drag it above the mirror feature in the browser. With the end of part moved up in the browser, I've effectively moved back in the creation process of the part to just before the mirror feature. Therefore, everything I do now, such as adding a cutout, will happen before the mirror feature in the part's history. Once I've created the cutout, I can then drag the end of part down to the end of the browser. And because the mirror operation is now below the new cutout, you can see it results in the cutout being on both sides, leaving me with a perfectly symmetric part.